Here is a good example of why you should do preventative maintenance to prevent accidents in the future or more work later on. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the CV boot on your axle. This is the outer axle seal, so there's a little more involved in getting to the outer one. You have to remove the inner one. And let's get into how to replace a CV boot, which is ripped, torn, shredded. So you need this contraption to get the wheel off. Next we have the cotter pin here. You're going to want to make sure to get a new cotter pin every time you take off this nut. Sometimes it's easier to use a cheater bar. So we got to remove the axle nut so we can get the axle out of the hub. So that's why we're removing this. Take this back off. Next, we're going to remove this bottom AR to swing out of the way so we can pull our axle out. We have to remove lower shock mount so we can pop this shock mount bottom loose that out of the way so we can raise our axle up here. And then I just want to hook this up out of the way. All right, so once we get that up, we can pop the lower mount loose. And this will allow us to pull the axle out of the hub. And now to get to this boot, we have to take off the inner boot. So let me show you how to do that. Clean up around this axle a little bit. If you don't have one of these clamp remover tools, you can use pliers and you need good pliers for this. Here on this clamp, this is the connection part. There's these two little tabs here. That's what you want to get to. You'll just get it with the corner of your pliers. That tab will pop up. You can reuse those. They say to replace them. So if you want to replace them or reuse them, so I'll leave that up to you. These obviously aren't damaged or ripped or anything. I can totally reuse them. I'll just clean them up. If you get a pack of CV boots or if you get a CV boot that has replacements, I'd recommend using the replacements. You're all fresh and new. You don't have to worry about it. Now the fun part is the messy part. You gotta rip this off, grab a utility knife. You just use your utility knife. You can just cut this rubber, slice the old boot off. We have our old boot and you can just wipe this up because you've got new grease you're going to stick in here. Clean up a lot of this old stuff. All you have to do is pop off this inner clip. That way you can get it off of the axle cup. I'm going to rotate this around so I can get to that clip. Pop this off of the cup and I should be able to yank this straight out. And this has a little sir clip on the end of it. That is what holds this in. This grease in here, you could leave it there. Or you can clean this all out with your new grease pack. Put that in there. This will clip you off. So I'm gonna flip this boot around, stick this on, slip this over the outer cup. That is how it slips on. So then we're just gonna fill this with grease in here, slip that over, and put our clamps back on. Slip this boot on. Got our new ring and slip that on. Grab these two points again, squeeze that down. And you're gonna have to press this in right onto those two tabs. Now, if you get into a lot of messy situations where you're replacing CV boots a lot, probably look into getting they've got a clamp tool just for these. So now our outer is done and get this back together. I'm gonna add a little more grease to this, but you can just slip that on. Slip on your new boot, get that down to that little notch right there in the and then you're gonna fill your grease either in here or you can stuff it in there like I did already and then you can just pop this back on make sure to get it lined up and pop it in slide your CV boot back up slip that over the inner cup put your new clip on map that on make sure both those tabs are locked down and then you can stick on this little one all right both those clips are on, the inner boot is on. Wiggle this around, make sure that grease is all around. Or you could just go for a ride. Same with the outer one, that grease all around in there. One last thing before we put everything together. I'm going to use my bearing greaser. Link in description if you don't have one of these. This will help your bearings last so much longer. Greasing this every once in a while. If you go through water, be sure to grease your bearings. Slip that into bearing there on the hub and give it some grease. Once you got your bearing grease, you can go ahead and stick your axle back in right into the slot. Get your splines lined up on the axle here. Axle nut back on. Lower A-arm back in. 
get our suspension back in here. Lower A arm. Back down our 30 millimeter axle nut socket. New cotter pin. And then next you just want to go over everything and tighten everything back down to spec that you took off. Stick our wheel back. Lower this down, tighten up our lug nut. And there you can see, brand new boot. We're ready to go riding again. This is for Arctic Cat, but it applies to a lot of different models, so it can help you out in that too. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash the like down below. If you don't have a CV boot or a bearing greaser like I used in this video, check the links down below. I've got those down there for you. You can check them out, get yourself one. It'll help you get back out on the trail and get back to riding. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.